My name is Scott Fogel with SCC Incorporated. Today, we're going to have a close look at the LME7 Flame Safeguard. First, I'd like to dive into what is a Flame Safeguard. Um, other common names for it are Burner Controller, Flame Relay, or Burner Management System. The main purpose of these components is to energize your, your fuel shutoff valves um, and make sure that there's a presence of a flame for safe operation. The LME7 is made up of three components, base, program module, and terminal plugs. Part numbers that end with PKG include all three of these components. These package versions are just one part number to make purchasing simple and easy. The program module is configurable, which provides flexibility for your application. Some examples of configurable parameter parameters are purge time, trial for ignition, interrupted or in intermittent pilot, and more. The parameters are changed by a password protected remote display called the AZL. Plug in the remote display, enter the password, and customize your application. As shown on this demo, the remote display is intended for mounting outside the panel as well as being a service tool. Mounting the display on the panel is helpful for providing information without opening the panel. The AZL display can also be left off completely thanks to the LME7 built-in three-digit display. This display will indicate the program phase and lockout codes for the cause of the alarm. This sticker shows the phase numbers and what the lockout codes mean. This sticker comes with every unit. Also shown on the display is the flame signal strength, which is helpful for commissioning and tuning your burner. The wiring of the LME7 is unique in that interlocks can be wired individually into the flame safeguard. These interlocks being wired individually into the LME7 allows the lockout codes to indicate the cause of the alarm. The interlocks that are wired individually into the controller are proof of closure switch, combustion air switch, low and high gas pressure switches, and high temperature limit. There is a lockout code for each one of these interlocks. Remote reset is built into this unit. There are certain models that can, can conduct valve proofing if that is required for your application. Next, let's talk about the three most common models for, for your application. Uh, the first LME71.111A1 PKG, uh, this is our base flame safeguard. Uh, it, it can take flame rod or UV scanner um, and is our most common model. The next model we're going to talk about is the LME73. Uh, this model can handle flame rod and UV scanner. Um, and what's unique about the LME73 compared to the LME71 is the LME73 can be paired to a Siemens SQM actuator. This is very helpful for packaged burners. Um, and there are three benefits to this arrangement. One being independent ignition, ignition position that can light, uh, you can light a little bit higher uh, than, than low fire uh, to light every time. Second is it will drive and improve the actuator position all in this LME73. The third is closed loop control. The LME73 controlling the actuator will drive the actuator and then the actuator gives feedback back to the LME73 that where it went, all to verify safe operation. The third model is the LME75. Uh, the main, main difference between the LME73 and the LME75 is that this version can control a self-checking UV scanner. Um, it can also control a flame rod if needed. Uh, the, another benefit is the, the actuator, the control that we talked about with the LME73. You can control an actuator with this version, or there's a parameter where you can disable actuator control if it's being controlled elsewhere. These three versions will cover the majority of applications. Uh, there are other versions available, um, such as 
no purge version, um, if you require a valve proving, um, or applications that require a PWM blower um, that aren't, aren't listed here that can be found for more information in our literature. The LMB7 is designed to be in a control panel, uh, but sometimes the application requires that the LMB7 can't be in a control panel. We've developed a NEMO 1 enclosure, and the LMB7 can go in here. Um, you, have a, you have a knockout here where you can still see the built-in display, as well as conduit connections for wiring coming in the bottom or in the back. The LME7 is also able to communicate through Modbus. Uh, this Modbus module um, can be connected to the LME7 and then connected to a PLC to then communicate to the HMI of the information in the LME7. For a link to the technical literature of the LME7, see the link below this video. We also have Book, of it, book versions available for you if you would like. Uh, thank you and have a safe day.